What's going on everybody, Ian here, and today in this video we are going to be talking about hydrolyzed protein. Now I work at a nutrient store, it's a really big one, it has three acronym, you know, three letters in their acronym, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Um, however, I noticed as long as I've worked there that the hydrolyzed proteins are the most expensive ones on the shelves. They're usually about 70 to 80 dollars, and that's a lot of money for some protein. Yeah, you know, just like 20 servings worth which is ridiculous. However, I did some research because I am a science student at college and I was wondering, is hydrolyzed protein really worth it? Or is it just, you know, you know, they put hydrolyze on, on the tubs to make you pay for more? So we're gonna be talking about that today. Let's start with what hydrolyzed protein is. Hydrolyzed protein is a specific type of protein concentrate that is broken down to the absolute furthest that it can possibly be broken down. From this, it is absorbed faster and quicker. However, that doesn't really mean much. When you're working out, you're breaking down your muscles, which means you're breaking down the peptide bonds, which is a protein bond. From this, when you drink, eat, or do whatever with protein, you know, the absorption, your body goes to your mitochondria through your ribosomes and creates more amino acid synthesis, which is protein synthesis, uh, specifically to rebuild what you broke down, i.e. making your muscles bigger, uh, immunity when you got sick, stuff like that. From this, a lot of people suspect that because hydrolyzed protein is the more expensive one, it's the more absorbing one, that there's going to be more amino acid concentration. Wrong. Now based on a study, I'm gonna put on the screen, that I read that hydrolyzed protein makes a significant less amounts of amino acid concentration than isolated. And the reason for that is because there is a, uh, a lipid bilayer that is hydrophobic, which means it doesn't want to touch water. So, you know, this, this protein molecule that you're being absorbed into your body has hydrogen on it. It's going to, instead of just like stopping it, it's going to open wide up. Now you might think what I thought, oh, that means it's instantly being absorbed, which means more protein synthesis. However, no. I asked my professor and she didn't even know. Hydrolyzed protein actually isn't the main source of amino acid synthesis. Amino acid synthesis actually has more creation when it comes to isolated protein and concentrated protein. From this, that means you're paying for absorption. You're paying for it to be smooth. You're paying for this $80 tub to go through your body quicker. That does not mean you're getting more protein. So the next time you're at your local GNC, um, Subzilla, Bodybuilding.com, whatever you're at, and you see that ridiculous price tag of hydrolyzed protein, it's okay to get it, but don't expect a more potent or more solid um, protein synthesis because it's not going to happen because of the concentration levels. But it's okay, get whatever protein y'all like and just, you know, now you know. So that's going to be my video on hydrolyzed protein guys. I know it's quick, I know it's short, but I just wanted to make an educational video because even my professors didn't know, so I researched this and now I'm now y'all know. So if you liked the video, comment, subscribe, see you later.